Greetings dear children. In this video, we will be learning Skimble Shanks, The Railway Catch written by T.S. Eliot. A few points about the poet Thomas Turns Eliot. One of the most important 20th century poets. Born in Missouri, but he moved to England at the age of 25 and become a British citizen. The essential characteristics of Eliot's poetry are acute observation, extensive use of metaphor, and ironic structure. T.S. Eliot wrote the cat poems in the 1930s and included them under his assumed name, Old Possum, in letters to his godchildren. Skimble Shanks is a character in Andrew Weber's 1981 musical Cats, which is based on Eliot's book. The character is portrayed as a bright and energetic orange tabby cat who lives and works on the night meals. Skimble Shanks, the title character, is portrayed as a bright, energetic brown tabby cat who lives and works on the mail train. The poem begins with the journey in the train that is all ready to leave the station. Let's begin. There's a whisper down the line at 11.39 when the night mail is ready to depart saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? Has he gone to hunt the thimble? We must find him or the train can't start. So at the beginning of the poem, we see that there's a whisper. The first line, the poetic device used is auditory imagery. The poem begins with a whisper. So everyone is whispering. When the night mail is ready to depart, everyone is whispering. The whisper down the line refers to the communication among the railway workers at 11.39. When the night mail is ready to depart. It's not clearly mentioned who all are whispering, but it can be assumed that the railway workers are communicating with each other they are just asking each other. Everyone is whispering, where is Kimball? And wondering if he has gone to play the silly game of chasing the thimble as the night mail is set to depart at 11.39. And what happens without him? We must find him. Otherwise, the train can't start. The train cannot move. So, Thimble, a party game where one person hides small object in a room and others look for it. All the guards and all the porters and the station master's daughters, they are searching high and low, saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? For unless he is very nimble, then the night mail just can't go. Everyone, including guards, the porters, even the station master's daughters, they all are searching for Skimble since the night mail would be delayed. The train would be delayed if Skimble does not arrive soon. He should be very active, nimble. He should be very active. He should reach. Otherwise, the night mail just can't go. Can't go. It will be delayed. At 11.42, then the signal is nearly due. And the passengers all are frantic to a man. Then Skimble will appear and he will saunter to the rear. He has been busy in the luggage van. Skimble who has been busy in the luggage van unexpectedly exit from the rear that is back of the train just before the scheduled departure time of the train that is at 11.42. Here we should notice the train is a night train from London to Scotland across the length of Britain. He gives one flash of his glass green eyes and the signal goes all clear. And we are off at last of the northern part of the northern hemisphere. Two poetic devices are used. The first line that is visual imagery and the last line that is northern part of the northern hemisphere. It is hyperbole. So as soon as Kimball appears, he flashes his glassy green eyes in the direction of the signal which causes it to also turn to green 
and the train as soon as the signal is given the train sets off towards northern hemisphere so that tells us how important the presence of skimbel you may say that by and large it is skimbel who is in charge of the sleeping car express from the driver and the guards to the backman playing cards he will supervise them all more or less you may say that by and large generally you can say that you may say that it is skimbel who is in charge of the sleeping car express from the driver and the guards to the backman playing cards that means traveling salesman backman he will supervise skimbel will supervise them all more or less the fact is that skimbel is supervising the train's driver guards cart playing backman and makes it quite evident that he is in charge skimbel is in charge of the sleeping car express down the corridor he paces and examines all the faces of the travelers in the first and the third he establishes control by a regular patrol and you know at once if anything occurred so now down the corridor he paces as he walks up and down what does he do examines all the faces whose faces travelers in the first and the third class in the first and the third class as he moves along the train corridor he examines the faces and what does he do further he establishes control by a regular patrol and he would know at once if anything occurred and he seems to be roaming the train keeping an eye on everything that is going on in every nook and corner ensures that nothing goes wrong under his supervision he will watch you without winking and he sees what you are thinking and it is certain that he doesn't approve of hilarity and riot so the folk are very quiet when skimble is about and on the move so the first line alliteration the poetic device used is alliteration so he will watch you without winking and he sees what you are thinking so everyone feels that he can read their thoughts because of the intense gaze he directs at their direction and it is certain that he doesn't approve of hilarity and right merry making and the disturbance he doesn't approve that is the reason the folk are very quiet when are they very quiet when skimble is about and on the move skimble when he is making his rounds everyone is quiet because he doesn't support the riotous behavior so the folk are very quiet you can play no pranks with skimble shanks he is the cat that cannot be ignored so nothing goes wrong on the northern mail when skimble is aboard so you can play no pranks the reason is he is a cat that cannot be ignored since skimble takes his profession seriously no one dares to play pranks on him since no one plays pranks on skimble nothing goes wrong on the northern mail when when skimble is aboard nothing could possibly go wrong when skimble is aboard oh it's very pleasant when you have found your little den with your name written up on the door and the berth is very neat with a newly folded sheet and there is not a speck of dust on the floor it is an absolute pleasure to enter the train coupe bearing your name we feel the tremendous delight when the name is written on the door when as entry and the berth is very neat with a newly folded sheet the sheet is well folded and clean and the berth is very neat there isn't a single speck of dust on the floor the literary term used is visual imagery so we can notice that the passengers are tired at the end of the day they do not want to be disturbed by any hilarity or riot 
they want a quiet comfortable journey and all of this is ensured by skimble shacks there is every sort of light you can make it dark or bright there is a handle that you turn to make a breeze there is a funny little basin you are supposed to wash your face in and a crank to shut the window if you a sneeze so here we can see the luxury on board the train the coach is equipped with a variety of amenities including the first one is the light which you can make it dark or bright the second one a handle to open the window and allow the fresh air uh, to enter turn to make a breeze allow the fresh air to enter in then there is a funny little basin uh, to wash your face and the fourth point is and there is a handle to shut the window if you sneeze that means if the breeze is too cold so that it can prevent you from sneezing if you feel very cold you can okay just to shut the window there is a handle to shut the window then the guard looks in politely and will ask you very brightly do you like your morning tea weak or strong but skimble is just behind him and was ready to remind him for skimble won't let anything go wrong then the guard look in politely and will ask you very brightly he will ask as you are settling in a guard stops by to enquire to find out if the passenger you would like your morning tea weak or strong strong or light but skimble we can see that skimble is close behind the guard to make sure he serves ready to remind him to make sure he serves you your morning tea to your liking because skimble won't let anything go wrong and when you creep into your cozy berth the literary term poetic device used is tactile imagery that is feels by touch which comes under imagery and pull up the counterpane you ought to reflect that it's very nice to know you won't be bothered by mice you can leave all that to the railway cat the cat of the railway train now we should thank thanks to the railway cat you can rest easy knowing that there won't be any mice living under your bed as you pull back the bed spread that is a counterpane and tuck yourself into your bed so thanks to the railway cat in the watches of the night he is always fresh and bright every now and then he has a cup of tea with perhaps a drop of scotch while he is keeping on the watch only stopping here and there to catch a flea skimble is alert as he keeps the night vigil in the watches of night he is always fresh and bright why is he always fresh and bright because every now and then he has a cup of tea perhaps a drop of scotch is added a shot of whiskey this is the reason he is always fresh and bright and only he stops just to catch a flea he only ever pauses to remove a flea that has wandered into the tree so here we can see an element of amusement when we think a cat drinking scotch and tea element of amusement is added here you were fast asleep at crew and so you never knew that he was walking up and down the station you were sleeping all the while he was busy at carlisle where he greets the station master with elation but when you saw him at dumfries where he speaks to the police if there is anything they ought to know about so this is happening when you were fast asleep so three places are mentioned crew town in england carlisle city in england and dumfries town in scotland so everyone on board is sound asleep skimble inspects the crew station the first one fast asleep at crew he just inspects the station by walking up and down he inspects the station you were sleeping all the while he was busy at carlisle there he greets the station master with much happiness elation 
You saw him at Dem Dumfries where he speaks to the police if there is anything to know about. So, cheerfully welcomes the station master at Carlisle and asks about the police officers in Dumfries. When you get to Gallowgate, there you do not have to wait for Skimble Shanks will help you to get out. He gives you a wave of his long brown tail which says, I will see you again. You will meet without fail on the midnight mail, the cat of the railway train. When the train finally stops at Gallowgate, the last stop, Skimble helps the passengers to get off the train. You do not have to wait because Skimble Shanks will help you to get out of the train. He waves, he gives you a wave of his long brown tail. What does it mean? See you again. You will meet without fail on the midnight, midnight mail, the cat of the railway train. He waves his long brown tail to bid adieu, say goodbye to the passengers. His tail appears to say that till we meet again and you are sure to meet the railway cat aboard the midnight mail on your next journey. Skimble ensures that the passengers get off the train with ease and promises another luxurious journey when the passengers take this train again. Some more poetic devices. First one is personification. To personify is to give an animal or inanimate object human traits. So here in this poem, T.S. Eliot describes the cat, Skimble Shanks, as a human being. He does it so firstly by the title Skimble Shanks, the railway cat, and then by giving the cat a level of introspection or self-awareness that is usually reserved for human beings. So, Skimble is a figure of great importance in the train's operation. Second one is metaphor. The phrase, hunt the thimble is a metaphor that represents Skimble's diligent search for anything missing or misplaced items on the train. It implies that he meticulously checks every detail like searching for small object before the train can depart. Let's look at the themes of this whimsical and delightful poem. Perfectionism, expectations from a figure of authority, luxury on board the train. Then the setting of this poem. Skimble Shanks is described as a railway cat who lives on the night mail. And description about night mail is given there. An overnight express train that travels on the British West Coast main line between London and Scotland. 